Uh, look, Alex, I haven't read the memo myself, but, uh, you know, I'm all about transparency. I want to see all of the information out there. Uh, I've been saying this even about uh, the original memo. So I think uh, it's very clear to me that the Trump administration is doing everything that they can to um, cover up for my opponent's original memo. Uh, in addition to that, um, you know, it's, uh, you know, the, the intelligence committee has never been really uh, politicized in the way that it has uh, under under Devin Nunes, so I think that it's time really for new leadership there. And I know, Andrew, that you launched your campaign because of Nunes's uh, ethical issues in the Russian investigation and, and how you perceive them. How about your potential constituents, your neighbors there right now? Are they even talking about Russia? Do they care about it? Absolutely. Uh, Alex, you know, I've been in this race for about 10 months now, and I've been crisscrossing this district. I've been meeting with Democrats and Republicans alike. And people are really fed up with Devin Nunes and what they've uh, seen him do on the House Intelligence Committee. While he's fooling around on the Intelligence Committee, he's really ignoring the constituents back at home. Uh, we have a number of pressing issues. You know, we're a very proud agricultural region, and we're just out of a six-year drought. And uh, Devin Nunes has been in Washington for uh, 15 years, has provided very little as far as water infrastructure that our farmers desperately, le desperately need. Uh, you know, we like to say here that, um, you know, we're the breadbasket of the world and we view here in the Central Valley locally um, the growing our own food as really a national security issue. issue. So uh, while, while Devin Nunes is out in Washington um, creating fake controversies, fake memos, the people back home have really been forgotten. People are tired of it and they're ready for a change. You know, Andrew, I, yeah, it has been 10 months, but I know during that time you caught some flack for the billboard that you put up showing Congressman Nunes and the president being led around on a leash by Vladimir Putin. To, to those who might feel it crossed a line, what do you say to them? Look, you know, I think that uh, the point of the billboard was to start a conversation about what's going on uh, in Washington and what Devin Nunes isn't doing for his constituents back at home. Um, I think that it's a great expression of the First Amendment. And uh, for those critics that uh, can't take a joke, I think that uh, they need to grow up. What about after the memo was released? The president tweeted saying that Congressman Nunes will one day be recognized as a great American hero. The president did win your district by nearly 10 points, though I will say his margin of uh, success was less than that of his uh, Republican predecessor, Mitt Romney, and even less than that of uh, John McCain prior to Mitt Romney. So what do you say uh, to those, the message who, in, in that billboard, those who agree with it, why do you think that will resonate with somebody who's not necessarily your supporter yet? Look, Alex, people like to say, especially uh, conservatives like to say that uh, this is a safe seat for Devin Nunes. If that were the case, he would be doing a victory lap. He would be going around holding town halls. He'd be talking to constituents. But he's really in hiding right now. And we see that even when he's uh, being interviewed or people trying to interview him in Washington, he runs away from the camera. Great American heroes don't run away. They don't cut and run. Uh, Devin Nunes uh, hasn't been doing his job. And the people here in the district realize that Republicans and Democrats alike, you know, I've had many Republicans come up to me and say, look, um, it's it, 15 years, eight terms in Congress is enough. Uh, it's time for a change. It's uh, time for somebody that has fresh ideas and a new take on things. So I, I'm just looking, though, at the stats here, Andrew, and he has won his last campaign by a two to one margin. So he must be doing something right. To what do you attribute his success so far? What do his constituents say? Is it name recognition or is it a lot more than that? You know, one of the things that I was very interested uh, in seeing when I first uh, got in the race was uh, how many people in the district actually knew that Devin Nunes was their member in Congress, and not very many people knew. Um, I really attribute uh, the fact that he's uh, won landslide elections in previous election cycles to uh, lack of viable Democratic opponents. Uh, for the first time in 15 years, people are going to have uh, a campaign. Uh, they're going to have a choice. Uh, between uh, two people, uh, you know, we're 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 raising uh, the level of attention around uh, what's going on in in Washington and, and what he's not doing here locally. People are uh, excited. We have thousands of people calling in, uh, asking how they can volunteer, uh, when they can go on, uh, knock on doors, uh, make phone banking calls, register people to vote, and that sort of thing. So, uh, I've 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 lived here most of my life, and I've never seen the level of excitement uh, around a political race that we're seeing this year. And it's something that we're seeing all across the country. We've seen it in places like Alabama and in Virginia, where people are coming out for the first time to involve themselves in the political process. And I'm excited to lead that effort here locally. Well, I, I will say that if people are going to put their money where their mouth is and what the support they're saying for you, you did raise over $100,000.
hours uh, in a two-day period over the release of the Nunes memo. So there is that to consider. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.